Hello, welcome to Flugatronic. Up today, we're going to do something entirely different. Uh, so, the first look at a new instrument. This is from Jeffrey Ellis Flutes, and it is a Kenna. Um, yeah, so this is a kina. It's a notch-blown flute from South America, originally. This is a very different kind of kina. Um, it is made of ebonite. You can see it has kind of a tapered bore. Rather large holes. Okay, so what I thought we'd do today is just take a look at this instrument. Um, this is the first time I've tried to play a flute that does not have a fipple. So Native American flute recorders, ocarinas, whistles all have a fipple. So <laughs> I don't know what that is. Fipple is just a mouthpiece that you blow into that directs the air against the cutting edge, all these kind of flutes have cutting edge that splits the uh, airstream and sets up the vibrations in the tube. But with a notch flute like this, or an edge blown or rim blown flute, you don't have that, so you have to form that airstream uh, with your lips and your mouth. So I've never tried to play one of these. <laughs> We'll see what happens. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, so I got the theory, but you know, practice can be a lot different. The difference between theory and practice is that in theory, they're the same, but in practice, they aren't. <laughs> All right, so here we go. First time for a Native American flute and whistle player trying the Kenna. And that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah, it's not so bad for only a weekend. Hey, we'll keep at it and uh, see what see what we can do with this guy. Uh, I can tell it's going to be quite a while before I'm ready to play an actual song. Um, after a week, I would say I'm getting much better at finding the note and the, the initial angle. Um, my breath control is still really bad. As you can, you can probably hear the tone is is very airy still, and I cannot hold the note very long at all. So I'm gonna to have to work on my tone and creating some kind of back pressure or breath efficiency. Uh, so hey, if you got any tips on doing those kind of things on a cannon, let me know.